Now it's not me who's explaining how uh, a castling goes or how uh, you can mate with a rook. Then you can let the program um, explain it to you. I'll make a short example. For example, we have here boxing in, which is a uh, way how to mate with uh, one rook against the global king. And what you have here, uh, you can uh, let the program just explain. I'll just switch on the sound so you can hear it. And so I'll just click on the explanation. Cornering the king is a trick from real experts. The white rook has built a prison for the other king. Here you can see the walls. Now there are only nine squares for King Lila to move around in. I just knocked the rook off the board. Looks like you've forgotten the sumo wrestlers. A king can never stand right next to another king. Well, my dears, it's King Lila's turn and he moves they are faster, they understand it quicker than the teacher, at least in the first year. And then they discuss it with each other. The common learning is absolutely no problem. You sit there, you can project it on. They have big screens in Germany, they have projectors and so on. So you do one uh, example, and then the student goes off and immediately loads it and shows their parents and, and little brother, little sister, whatever. And they practice it for them. <clears throat> and one, one example I know from my own experience because I'm still teaching kids um, chess. Uh, at the moment I have more experienced kids, uh, more stronger, but when I use it uh, for, for beginners, I always would see how the strength of the group is. And as from your own practice you will see, <coughs> you have 10 kids, 20 kids, one is very good, one or two are maybe not as, as advanced as the other. So you have not the same level of, of strength. So sometimes you are explaining things and two are bored because they already know it, uh, or two don't get it and you have to move on so the others aren't bored. So what you can do is that you uh, take well, either the more advanced players or the more playable um, um, players who are not so advanced and say, well, uh, in the meantime, maybe you can do something. And for the advanced players, it's easy. You still explain how to mate with a rope. And uh, there are a lot of games where you can track the high score. So this was something else I wanted to, to show you as well. I'll just show you uh, this here. If you click on that, for example, well, we, we can design this function uh, individually. So um, you, can, uh, you can have like a match against some school. And when you enter this, you go to your own room on the chess server. You won't see it that you have your own room. Uh, you just, for example, what we uh, have here is like the Ryder Cup of chess, SGHAW uh, against Hamburg SK. This is my, SGHAW is my, my school group, and the Hamburg SK is one of the hugest uh, clubs in, in, in Germany and I think in Europe as well. And so, what we'll do is you get the link, the other school gets the links as well, and you enter this room and you will see all the other pupils from the other school, and then there you will be able to play. So, you can play against other schools in a four students across oceans to try to play against each other. What you do is you have a large number of schools participating. Uh, chess in schools, yes to chess has done it last year, we've done it in Hamburg. We've I've been trying to show off, you know, play between Hamburg and, uh, and Johannesburg in South Africa. Or the next one I'm trying is between Hamburg and Hawaii because it's you know opposite sides of the planet and they have great enjoyment and what we tend to do is you have com complete leagues where schools, 20, 100 schools play against each other, teams, and then the winners, the six winners come together in London.